Hi, this is Tom Field, Editorial Director with Information Security Media Group. Welcome to today's webinar entitled Automating Compliance and Security with Security Information and Event Management Solutions at the Bank of China. Your presenters today are Mel Shakir, CTO of Nitro Security and Costas Georgiakopoulos, VP and Head of Information Security at the Bank of China, USA. Some background on today's session. Faced with ever-increasing compliance requirements and relentless cyber threats and attacks, the Bank of China in New York needed to automate network security to make its IT staff more effective and efficient. In this session today, you're going to hear all about how the Bank of China managed to do this via reducing manual processes needed for PCI, GLBA, and SOX compliance, about threat detection through real-time visibility into events, logs, databases, and applications, incident response based on advanced analytics and detailed forensics, and finally best practices for implementing security information and event management solutions. Before I begin, let me give you a little bit of information about Information Security Media Group. We currently publish four websites bankinfosecurity.com and cuinfosecurity.com for financial services, govinfosecurity.com for the public sector, and healthcareinfosecurity.com, our newest site. Each of these sites is dedicated to providing education and news regarding information security, but specifically tailored to their unique vertical industries. With over 125,000 members registered to our sites, we've created properties that tackle the key issues of interest to our unique audiences. I also want to point out to you our Career Center and Job Board, which highlight career opportunities at organizations throughout the U.S. You can visit our Career Center and Job Board by following the URL indicated on your screen. A little bit of housekeeping before we begin today. If you have any questions for our presenters during the course of this session, please submit them via the chat window on your screen. If anybody should experience any technical issues while viewing today's webinar, please dial the number on your screen. If you dial extension 111 or 115, we do have technical support staff standing by. In addition, I need to emphasize, the content being presented in today's session is copyrighted material and is meant for today's webinar and individual study purposes only. If you or your organization would like to use the information presented in today's session, or are looking for customized training education, please contact us. Let me introduce our sponsor now. Founded in 1999 and based in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Nitro Security develops the industry's fastest analytical tools to identify, correlate, and remediate information security threats in minutes instead of hours. Nitro Security Solutions reduce business risk exposure and increase network and information availability by removing the scalability and performance limitations of security information management. These solutions allow organizations to quickly mitigate risks to the organization's information and infrastructure while satisfying stringent regulatory compliance reporting guidelines. For more information, please visit www.nitrosecurity.com. Let me take a minute now to introduce our speakers today. You're going to hear first from Mel Shakir, CTO of Nitro Security. Mel brings over 15 years of experience in software development and management, information security, and database technologies. In his current role, he is responsible for developing and implementing Nitro Security's overall technology vision and roadmap, including next generation application and database security management solutions. Prior to joining Nitro Security, Mel architected and developed advanced database security solutions as CTO of RippleTech, which was acquired by Nitro Security in 2008. Next, you're going to hear from Costas Georgiakopoulos, who's VP and Head of Information Security at the Bank of China in USA. In this role, Costas is responsible for developing and implementing security standards, procedures, and guidelines in order to effectively protect the bank's information and systems as well as address compliance with FFIEC and PCI security standards. 
Prior to this position, Costas was the VP of Information Security Governance at Deutsche Bank, New York, where he managed the Information Security Governance Program and provided senior management with a clear and concise view of IT risks. With that, let me turn you over to our speakers, Mel and Costas. Gentlemen? Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us on the webcast. I'm Mel Shakir, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Nitro Security. I'll start off with a brief primer on SIM solutions, but our main focus during today's presentation will be to share our experience and industry trends with you. Hopefully that will help you make good choices with technology selection that's right for you and ensuring that a SIM deployment not only meets your objectives of automating compliance, but becomes the central and most powerful tool in your toolkit for ensuring security in your organization. For those of you who may not be familiar with the SIM, uh, here's a brief description. A SIM, S-I-E-M, stands for Security Information and Event Management. A SIM is a tool used by information security professionals to collect security and audit events and respond to security incidents. It collects data from applications, servers, security and network devices. SIM is also widely used as the tool of choice for satisfying security requirements mandated by SOCs, P, uh, PCI, GLB, and other regulations because SIMs provide sophisticated reporting, analysis, and forensics capabilities. Now, other standard features in a modern SIM are long-term archiving and management of audit logs. Here's an example of a simple network that needs to be protected. There's a fair bit of complexity even in this small network with switches, routers, firewalls, security devices, file, email, database and application servers, and endpoints, all generating audit-worthy events. Even a small network like this can produce hundreds of thousands of events a day that must be analyzed in order to ensure the organization's security.